Welcome to this best practices guide for the installation of Tuba Cedar products. Installing a single store system with coupling band and gasket. Your Tuba Cedar pipes will be delivered with all the necessary equipment needed for successful installation. The EPDM gasket, lubricant, coupling band stud assemblies and gasket tape are all included with the single store system. Available for an additional cost, our installation tool includes an air ratchet, fittings and spanners. Without the optional toolkit, you will need 19mm open-ended spanners. Correct ground preparation is essential for a successful installation. While a flatbed is a minimum requirement, a bed prepared to support 20% of the circumference of the pipe is essential for larger pipes and beneficial for smaller and mid-sized pipes. This helps with alignment of pipes over the length of installation and makes the subsequent placing and compaction of backfill materials easier. A template can be used to assist in shaping the bedding material. A deeper recess should be excavated at the point where pipes are to be joined. This will ensure ease of placing the gasket and band once the pipes are in position. The recess should be approximately 650 mm wide, 150 mm wider than the gasket and band. Once the first pipe has been lowered into position in the trench, the second pipe can be lowered into position and adjusted to ensure correct alignment of both pipes. Visual checks should be made to ensure correct alignment. Pipes should not butt up to each other, leaving a gap typically between 10 to 25 mm. This gap should be uniform around the circumference. This uniformity of the gap further confirms the correct alignment of pipes. Using the pre-dug recess, push the gasket underneath the pipes to be joined. Gaskets are supplied cut to the correct length, allowing for an overlap. Taping the gasket will hold it in position whilst placing and fastening the coupling band. Coating the inside of both halves of the coupling band with a generous application of the supplied lubricant will aid movement when aligning the band over the gasket and reduce a risk of ripping the gasket, although the gaskets are tear resistant with the correct handling. Apply the lower half of the coupling band and gently feed it through the trench recess, applying pressure against the gasket as it is rotated into position. A wooden chock is useful to hold the band in place whilst final alignment adjustments are made. The recesses at each side of the coupling band should sit centrally over the second corrugation from the end of each pipe, ensuring that when tightened, the gasket is correctly seated in the corrugations. Introduce the upper half of the coupling band and rotate into position, ensuring the gasket remains overlapped covering the pipe joint. The studs and washers can now be inserted and the nuts hand tightened on both sides of the coupling band. The nuts can now be fully tightened. At each band joint, follow the correct tightening order for all eight nuts. This is essential for achieving a uniform seal of the gasket. Failure to follow this order could potentially compromise the effectiveness of the gasket seal.
A final visual inspection of the gasket helps ensure even compression has been achieved by the coupling band. Backfill the recess made for the coupling band in the bedding, ensuring that loose material is compacted firmly. This helps to minimise any movement at the coupling joint. For further information on these and other products within the Tuberceda range, please contact Tuberceda UK Limited.